Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, the sun is coming up way over there in the distance. And you know what that means? That means it is time to catch some fish. I've already got lines in. I have started my drift and that's what I'm gonna be doing today is doing some drifting, at least to start anyway. I'm drifting a main channel ledge, working my way downstream to some deeper holes. And by gosh, I'm hooked up right here. I had one hit me. All right, that's a good sign. I just got lines in right here before I turned the camera on to do the intro. So uh, that was a head bait there. I've got skipjack, all four rods, good and fresh. Two head baits on the left side of the kayak. I've got two chunks here on the right. And like I was saying, working this ledge down to some deeper holes. So right now I'm 61 feet deep. The current flow out here this morning, minimal, pretty much not noticeable, but there is a very light breeze that's pushing me in the perfect direction. It's pushing me directly downstream where I'm wanting to go and it's got me moving at like 0.4, which is perfect. So I'm just gonna let the wind carry me down through here, hopefully run into some fish. If I do get on some, like a good concentration of fish, I'll hit the spot lock, sit right there on top of them and hopefully wear them out today. So uh, my baits right now, they're suspended. All four rods here are suspended. It's my favorite way to fish. That's what we're gonna do today. So right now, my bait's down there 59, 60 feet deep as I make my way along. As the depth drops, I will lower those baits to compensate for it. So anyway, I'm gonna kick back, wait on these fish to bite, watch that sun come up. That is my favorite thing to do out here in the mornings is watch that sunrise. Never gets old, man. My back line just got hit and it's swimming south. I think I'm gonna reel in a fish here well, there we go. I can get the dang rod out. All right, guys, we off to we off to the races here to start. Fish number one. Feels like a blue. I'm all right with that. First fish, I always feel like is the hardest one to get for the simple fact that there's been a lot of days I went fishing, I never caught the first fish. <laughs> so I'm always, no matter what kind of fish, unless it's a channel, I never want to catch a channel cat, but any other type of fish, no matter how big it is, I'm always thankful for that first one. It's the skunk buster, I call it. Yeah, that's, a, that's not a bad start right there. That's a larger dink. Smaller, he got mad. He wants to be known as a smaller fun size. He's, he's mad at me there. Come up here, fish. You probably ain't seen a sunrise in years. This fish right here, he said he's seen one sunrise in his whole life. So he's gonna see another one up here. We're gonna, we're gonna make his day. Oh no. Oh no, that fish ain't gonna see the sunrise. He. Dang, my line broke, y'all. This line right here just got hit, though. That one got, I don't know what happened there with that hook. He just, he just busted, he wanted a souvenir. That rod got thumped while that fish was doing his thing, and my rod tip's sitting there. I believe that's a flathead. Right here, perfect timing as the sun peeked up over the tree line. Now I got this rod going down. I'm on some fish, buddy. That in there, I believe he's got it, man. He's, he's got enough weight on that rod. I think he's got that hook. Yeah, I believe that's a flathead, y'all. It feels good. Let me turn this way so y'all can, those of you that slept in today, you can see what that sun looks like coming up. I can't believe I lost that other fish. I don't know what happened there with my hook. Y'all see it on eBay next week though. He'll have that thing for sale on there. That other fish on the other front rod, he hit it, but he didn't hook up. These fish right here, man, they, I'm, I come out here to catch them, but that sun coming up over the tree line is just a beautiful sight, and these fish are interrupting it. They could have waited about five more minutes, couldn't they? These fish, they ain't got time to wait, though. They hungry today. They got, they got stuff to do today. This fish got to get his breakfast to eat here. He's probably got to mow the yard. Some of these other people over here in these houses probably mowing their yard at some point during the video. I, I can't make it through a video, it seems like, without something going on. 
No, that's not a flathead, y'all. That's a blue. Boy, he hit it funny, didn't he? I had another one like that the other day that ate just like a flathead. It, it just sat there with weight on and then finally took off and that was what that one did. That's a, that's a better fish right there. That's a, that's a definite fun sizer. Definite fun sizer. Hopefully this, hopefully this hook will stay on the dang line. Now I got this rod back here getting worked. Look at that one going down now. Uh, he let it go. He got that one, let it go. All right, blue cat, let's land you. Let's, let's hold you up here so you can see a sunrise. Okay, fishy. Come on up in here. You're going to have to find breakfast somewhere else, buddy. I'm taking that head back. Yeah. That wasn't a free meal after all. Head's still in good shape. It ain't been down there just a few minutes. There he is. Old blue kitty right there. Fun size. A little bit bigger than the other one over here that somehow broke me off. I must have had a nick in my line or something. Glad it happened on a small fish and not on a big one. But uh, yeah, off to a good start, getting some action here right away. And I haven't even gotten down to where I'm ultimately wanting to end up at today on this trip. I just kind of started at the top up here and just going to let this wind push me downstream and getting bit right away. It's a good sign. Get out of here, buddy. Mm. That's what I get for not giving him breakfast, right? I, he's going to, he says, I, he ain't getting a breakfast, but by gosh, I'm getting a shower. All right, I'm gonna drop that head back down. I guess I'll retie on another leader over here. And got this, uh, we missed it, y'all. We dealing with that fish and the sun is fully up over the tree line now. Them some rude, inconsiderate fish. We can't ever get that sunrise back. They cause us to miss it. That's all right, I'm gonna forgive them though, but I am gonna, I am gonna stick a hook in some of their friends as punishment for it though today. Let's do it. Head bait, head bait's going down. Oh man, oh man. All right, got another one. I don't feel like a bad one either. I had a little, a little bit of time there to get Wordle played for the day. Well, now this one's come along. I guess I should have been paying attention to my screen there instead of playing Wordle, but Wordle's pretty addictive. I don't know if y'all play or not, but I hit it every day. <laughs> Let's get this fish up here. This fish, he ain't never played Wordle. This fish right here can't spell. I bet this fish can't even spell his own name. That's another blue on the head. He's a, a larger dink, maybe a little smaller than that, that one I landed. Probably about the same size as the one I lost there. Oh, my back rod got hit. Sorry fish, I gotta leave you set in a second. Gotta leave you set in a second, cause this one's going down. This one's going down. Oh, and he let it go. He let it go. Let's set him back. Let's get this and land it right quick before, before that other one comes back. I've got some fish right here on the screen. They all over right there, 63 feet. Come here, fish. We gotta get you going before your friends bite. All right, the hook is out. Fish, I'd consider giving you some front camera time, but we got the sun behind us. If I did, you'd be in the shadow. At least here you're in the light. You ain't very pretty to look at in the light, but you want them, it's better to just stay in the dark. But I heard his feelings down there. He's gonna go pout about it the rest of the day. Let's fix this bait back. Actually, it still looks like it's good, so we'll send it back down and stay on the move here. If I get in an area where I'm just getting all my rods going down or you know, if I get on some big fish, I'm gonna spot lock on them. But right now, I'm just gonna keep moving until I make my way on down to these deeper holes. I feel like the deeper holes down here is probably what's going to be holding the fish. 
but right here at sunrise first light fish are often a little bit more active there's a feeding window and i thought maybe they'll be up out of that hole these deep holes down here and kind of higher up on this ledge just working up to eat and maybe i could intercept those on the way down so that was kind of my thought process coming out here this morning but uh, anyway we'll keep making my way along hopefully we find some more this back head bait's gotten hit again i'm gonna pick up and just see i think he's got it didn't act like a very big fish. I thought he might have just kind of had the had the bait. You know, that's a pretty big bait, the head pieces there. But if he's got it, we'll reel him in. I'll come out here to unhook some fish today, so if he's got himself to hook, that's what I'm going to do. I'm doing a service to these fish, and I ain't even going to send them no bill in the mail. Now this one got hit. Let's watch it go down while this one here flat stretch thrashes I, i'm excited i can't get my words out he's swimming looks like backwards here this one's a smaller now that's going down buddy now it's going down let me set the other one back in the rod holder that look at that takedown man look at that look at that oh man i'm excited i'm trying to film i'm trying to film and be excited and reel in a fish and that's a little bit better one right there i think y'all that's a little bit better one. That old small dink there in the back's gonna have to wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, this fish, he went back there and got my other corner line behind me there. He was kind of heading that direction to start with and he got it. That's all right. I don't, I've said before, I don't mind a tangle when you get a good fish. It's the small fish that tangle you up that are frustrating. Or the trot lines that tangle you up, that really sets me off. But a big fish, eh, don't bother me. It's always worthwhile. I think this in here is gonna be pretty good. Yeah, he is gonna be pretty good. He's taking back off. Got a little tug of war action going on here. This fish should have come along first thing when I was still tired. I'm good and awake now. I'm wide awake after the fish I've caught. I don't know what he is yet. I don't know if it's a blue or a flathead yet. I ain't, I ain't really felt a lot of what feels like rolling or anything, pulling him up, but I don't know. We'll see when we get him up here. Y'all can take bets, bet amongst yourselves right now of, of what this fish is. I have been catching some flatheads lately. We're at that time of year, everything's biting good again. It's that point in the summer. We threw with the spawn here in East Tennessee and both the blues and the flatheads are biting good again. And I'm taking advantage. I've been wearing them out lately. That fish, y'all, oh man. That, boy, that's a surprise right there. It's a blue. Boy, what a hard fight for that size of fish. It's a good fish, don't get me wrong. That's a fun sizer. Now I got this rod. That rod was getting hit. But this one here, I mean, he's a fun sizer, but what a takedown and what a fight for that size fish. That one there, he better he ate his Wheaties this morning. I'll tell you, I'm gonna spot lock here just a second since I got all these rods going down. That one's, I believe that one's hooked up too. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set Mighty Mouse here back in the in the rod holder. Now we'll pick up on this one. If I didn't have this other back rod out of commission because the Mighty Mouse swam through it, I'd probably be quadrupled right now. But I'm tripled either way. <laughs> Getting a triple in a kayak's a damn good time, but if you ain't never experienced it, you need to try it out one time. It might make you, might make you sell your boat. 
it's fun. Been doing this a long time. Never, never gets old to me. People comment sometimes. They say, "Why don't you get a boat or whatnot?" And I just, I, I don't have a desire to. As long as I can physically set in the kayak, that's what I'd rather do. This fish right here, he don't want to physically set in the kayak though. He, he says he wants to go back home. He says he's made a terrible mistake in biting this hook. He slimed up my line, something terrible. I'll see if I can get hold of him and get him going quick, and then we'll we'll work on these other two over here. No, oh, oh. Well, there he went. <laughs> he wasn't having none of this camera stuff. Let me get the other small one here. This one here, I mean, he is still pulling that rod down, man. He is, he's wound. That fish there's got some power for no bigger than he is. And this got the quick release on that one too, by gosh. Goodness gracious. Well, this one here, I'm confident, ain't coming unhooked without my assistance. So I'm gonna drop this head bait back down so that way I can have something in the water down here in case I got some more that wanna eat while I deal this one. Deal with this one. I can't, I'm, but I'm having a stroke or something. I can't get my words out. I'm just excited. Y'all have to bear with me this morning. We'll get it together here in an hour or two. Okay, you coming in now. You coming in and you gonna behave. You ought to be about plumb tired by now, fish. You ought to be wore out with how you've been behaving. Yeah, that nair wasn't coming free. We had him right in the corner of that old crooked jaw of his. He got line all wrapped around him. We had that and lassoed and hooked. Well, this fish, he thought he was gonna be famous with how he was fighting, but unfortunately the sun is behind us. He can't even get a good picture. And I'm, I'm wanting to get these bait. I gotta get that line untangled. I need to get these everything rebaited here. I ain't got time to spin the kayak around into the sun. I'm sorry, fish. We'll do it on the next one, okay? I promise next time you'll get a better picture. He says he feels ripped off. He paid a lot of money for this experience. He's gone. What was that movie? Christmas Story, where, where the Santa was like pushing the kid down the, the, the slide with his with his foot. Was that Christmas story or bad Santa? I can't remember. One of them, the kid, Santa Claus, was pushing the kid down the slide with his foot. That's me getting rid of that fish. All right, enough flapping my gums. Let's get some baits down there. Well, all right. I'm still spot logged here, y'all. I'm still getting, did you see that? Did I just get that on camera? I don't even know what that was. Was that a skipjack or a shad? Something literally just jumped over the kayak. You never know what you're gonna see. You never know what you're gonna see on this channel, folks. I don't even know what that was. Something, some type of fish just come flying over the kayak, hit that rod on the way down. It had to be a skipjack or a shad. Goodness gracious, these fish will do anything to get on this video. This one here, I was trying to say, I'm still spot locked right here. I'm still getting everything sorted out and just got everything dropped back down. I was about to get going again and this one took off. He just a little old thing. I'd probably edit him out of the video if it wasn't for that other fish jumping across the dang kayak. I hope that got on camera, that was crazy. I've had some fish jump into the kayak before but I don't know that I've ever had one just do a moonsault right over the dang thing. Too bad you didn't see that fish. That was a spectacle right there. Get out of here. Thanks for leaving the bait on, fish. You're a good man. I'll send it back down. It's... I'll get one more out of it. There's still some blood right there. You can squeeze it and get a little bit out, but it is getting kind of blanched. The water temps surface temps out here this morning is 84 and these baits like skipjack and stuff that's kind of oily and bloody they they leach out pretty quick in the warmer temp especially when you're moving if you got current flow or if you're trolling and you got water kind of 
hitting those baits or pushing through those baits, I should say. So we'll give a little while, see if I can get another one and switch out. I kind of just want to get on the move again. You know, I'm, I've just made a very short distance down through here this morning. I've got, well, I'm, this sun's a terrible position behind me, but I've made a, a very short distance from where I drop lines in and it's, the bite's been good lately. You know, it's just been on, it's that post-spawn bite fish are, they're active, they're feeding, they're, they're trying to get their weight back on and we own some out here this morning. It's a good time. All right, y'all, update time. Well, let me turn this way with the sun way it is. At least you can maybe see half my face over here. Not that anybody wants to see any or all of it, but it's a little after 8 a.m. right now. The bite there, I was getting right at sunrise, just rods going down, getting some fun size fish. That's kind of dissipated. Now it's mostly just dink taps, no solid hookups, just small fish just pecking and chewing and destroying these baits so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna reel everything up look right here that was another example of one that's what i've been dealing with here for the last 30 minutes or so it's been just that so i'm gonna reel everything up i'm gonna refresh my baits and i'm gonna slide farther on down this ledge to get uh, to some of these deeper areas that i was just working my way down to the wind is blowing perfectly how often does that happen right but it's moving me perfectly downstream the direction i'm wanting to go at like 0 0.3 0 0.4 mother nature is doing its part today the fish on the other hand these dink taps this this right here this right here chewing up that bait i ain't going to get hooked up with it anyway i got a couple more skipjack here in the floor i'm going to get these cut up and i'm going to do same combo i've been running i'm going to do two heads on the left side of the kayak and I'm gonna do two chunks on the right side. And I'm just gonna reel, when I reel everything up and rebate, just slide on down a little bit deeper and see if I can get back on some better quality fish. I gotta get away from these small fish. They just, they ruining every bait I got down there. Y'all, it's been a while, but I think I've got a solid hook up here. I got a thump, weight on the rod, I don't want to jinx it, but I think I may have a flathead. It's been a hot minute. I've worked my way down to 69 feet. It's 8.33 now, so. The bite for me, other than just dink taps, kind of just wore off. It just, you know, that's how it goes when you drifting like this. You get on some fish, you drift a spell, nothing really happening, and then you get back on them. And I've made my way down here I think this right here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him get that hook. I want to make sure he's hooked up before I pick up on him. With the circle hooks, I've talked about this in other videos, you pick up on them too soon and they feel something's off, they let go, and you never had the dang things hooked. I like for them to load up the rod and hook themselves. I get way better hookups like that. All right, here we go. Yep, got him. Let's reel him in. Let's see what he is. Heck, at this point, I'm happy to get another solid bite, man. It's been hard times here for the last little while, but just a matter of time, just a matter of time before I got back on some. I just reeled everything up, refreshed a little while ago, moved down a little bit further to hopefully get away from some of them smaller fish. I got another rod over here behind me that was getting tapped too. I hope this is a flathead. He sure acted like it. I've been fooled a couple times with them blues that's hit funny. But this in here, man, thump, sitting there, rod tip just wavering. I gave it enough time there to, I'll edit part of it out, but I gave it enough time that I felt like he had hooked himself. Pull him up here, see what we got. This, again, it's 69 feet where I'm at here now. Oh yeah, that's a good flathead. That's a good flathead right there, man. I'll take that. Yeah, this flathead right here got him a mouthful, didn't he? It's a nice flathead, but that was a big bait. That's a the biggest skipjack head I had down, he got that hook right in the top of the tooth patch. 
But you know what? He done it to himself, by gosh. I'll let him hook himself. I just give myself so much better hookups doing that. This wind's going to spin me back, but I'm going to try to get him in the sun for just a second there so he can get his moment of fame. Thank you so much, Flatty. It's nice for me to think that it's a flathead bite and it actually be a flathead. <laughs> Always good when that happens. <laughs> All right, buddy. You ready to go home? You got to swim back down 69 feet. That may take him a little while. <laughs> All right, flathead. Tell him bye. My glove got hung on you. He don't care. He just goes off on his own time there. He wasn't going to wave at us, tell us bye, send us a postcard, nothing. He just gone. I'm going to hit the spot lock because this front rod up here now has gotten hit on one of the chunks. There it goes. There it goes. That acted more like a blue right there. Still same depth, well, 68 feet here now. <laughs> this fish I don't know who he thought he was messing with here but I guess he just thought he'd just come up there and take off with that whole bait and hook like his friend there did first thing this morning but this leader here ain't gonna break at least it better not I'll have to edit out this whole segment to keep from looking dumb <laughs> I look dumb enough with all the other shenanigans I do in these videos I can't, I still can't believe that other leader failed this morning. That's weird, especially on such a small fish. I must have just had a flaw in the slaw somewhere. This in here, larger dink. That's on my stinger fly rig, but he got the, the hook. He's burping too, he's nasty. He's had him an omelet or something down there this morning, had some peppers in it, I guess. Oh, now that rod, that rod's gotten hit too. I gotta let that go a second. Let me pick up on this one. Doubled. I guess I better set this rod back at the rod holder before he takes off with it. Boy, if he had took off swimming, he'd have had that rod. On Craigslist, he'd get a few bucks for it. This in here I don't think it's gonna be any bigger than his friend there, but I'm gonna reel him in anyway. Another one on the chunk here. Again, I got heads on the left and chunks on the right. It's kind of offering variety, different sizes. Everything's just a couple feet off bottom. I'm working the, the bottom depth there. We'll lower it as I've come down through here, as this drops off coming down this ledge. I feel like my back rod over may be getting hit too. Yeah, you go ahead and splash around there, fish. You let them know about it. That fish don't know that the complaint department's closed. I'm gonna check this rod here. Yeah, I do have one on here. I'm tripping. Nope, he let it go just then. I felt him. Let me lower that bait back down. Well, we got two of them. Two out of the three. Both of them run off with our bait, so. Let's land this first one up here and See if we can make him happy. Look at, look at this rod now. Look at this. I may have to set this one back. Sorry, fish. I'll land you in a minute. We got another one going down right here on the front head bait. He's got it. He's got it. Y'all staring into the sun as I really mean, but by gosh, we got it. This one's going to be bigger. This one's bigger than the other two. This one here may be bigger than both them two combined. That's the, again, that's the big head bait. That's the same one I caught the flathead on, just drop back down. I still I spot locked when I hooked that fish. I may just stay spot locked here a little bit. I've been, you know, I was catching them fish first thing, they're moving. I may, I've been getting them spot locked. Last few trips out catfishing, I've been working a, a hole, it's a deeper hole, but you know, it's 55 feet in this section down here of the river that I'm on today, a little bit deeper. 
I may just stay spot locked here a little while and see what's up. I've clearly, if nothing else, I've gotten on some more fish right here. I don't know what this is yet. He still feels good though. Definitely bigger than the other two. Should be getting close now. Yeah, that's a blue. Yeah, that's definitely, that's the biggest of the, of the three there. He's mad too. Boy, if we could have kept that other one hooked back up there, I'd have had me a quadruple. <laughs> three fish is fun, four is better. Well, let me set him back in the holder. He can finish tiring himself out. I'm gonna find my glove. I've been promising this fish here for a few minutes now that I was gonna land him and introduce him to you all. He's wanting some contact numbers or something. He's got a, a, some shoes he wants to sell you. But I'm gonna finally get to it here, fish. You just had to be patient now. You gotta give me a little time. There's a bunch of fish out here that's wanting to be caught now. All right, let me throw that up. Oh, oh, oh. Well, he said, heck with patience. He ain't got no patience. There he goes. Doggone fish. All right then, well, if he didn't want his time with you, then maybe this and will. Well, here's this thing. Oh, I got a bee on me or something. I hear it buzzing around. Oh, there it is again. Doggone bee in her. Boy, if it ain't the fish messing up a video, it's the bees, man. Doggone things. I tell you what, y'all, I don't do bees. I swell up. And I got stung the other night. I was fishing Alpha Bank there getting some skipjack. And something got me on my side and then got me up under my arm here. And I still ain't 100% from it. I'm still all swolled up and red. Let me land this one now. Hopefully that bee done got out of here. I ain't, I'm out in the middle of the dang river. I don't know what a bee's doing out here. I'm 100 miles from its nest. I got to set him back to here a second though, y'all. I got to set him back because look right here at this back rod. That ain't acting right, is it? I glanced back and it looks like it's got some weight on it. Am I imagining that? Do y'all see it? Tell me I'm crazy. Let me just let me just tug on this line here and see if there's any see if there's any resistance. I don't really feel nothing. No, there is. You see that? Is that a small fish or is it a? I ain't got time to fool with this fish. I'm just gonna pick up on him. He is a fish on there too, doggone it. I knew I wasn't crazy that time. I may be crazy the other 23 and hours of the day, but not right there. I knew that rod tip didn't look right. This one snuck up on me here. Well, we were close to getting a quadruple. If I hadn't let them others go, Bad thing is though, I'm on some fish and I ain't got no baits down there. Everything's, all my rods are out of commission right now. Get this up here, I don't know what he is. He may be just, a, he's small, whatever he is. Yeah, just a small blue cat there. Let's go ahead and get him going before we land the, the biggest one over here. He's got that head bait just choked in his mouth. Look at it, I don't even know if he's got the hook. I don't even think he's got the hook. I think he's just got that bait crooked in there. Well, he may have got it then. Yeah, he got it then. He worked that hook through then when he thrashed around like that. Fish, if you'd acted like somebody, you'd have probably just swam off. I think he, I think I reeled you in with that bait wedge there. There he is, another dink. Get on out of here. Well, he get the camera wet, he got me wet. Got my whole leg wet. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get this head bait back down before I land this fish, cause I got no baits in the water and we're on some fish. I don't really see anything on the live scope right now. I've got that in down view. I see some, maybe there goes a small mark, but that live scope, the deeper you go with it, the harder it is to discern those marks that are right on the bottom. It's Things get really small the deeper you go on there on the screen, so tough to discern. I'm gonna get this one up here. He's a little bit easier to discern 
when you get hold of him because this in here is actually a this is a fun sizer come up here fish now quit that flopping now y'all be tired boy he's cussing you all out where'd you learn that language at fish that's you got a potty mouth you need some toilet paper for your mouth the way you're talking right now i'm just gonna hold you out fish we're gonna hold you out like this with that kind of language and the fact that you'd be in the dark anyway if i put up the front camera mount there all right you've said enough we've heard it all from you today fish ever catfish cuss word he is just come out of his mouth his mama's gonna be plum embarrassed all right y'all well hey good series of events i mean i went for a good while there with just nothing but dink taps worked my way on down got that flathead and then boom there's four fish just blink of an eye so let's get some more baits down there and we'll see if we can't do that again that was fun even though nothing was huge you got two three four fish hooked up at a time it's awesome all right well i got another one that's committed he's committed to it he made a commitment to me taking that rod down i'll commit to him reeling him in this feels like it might be a, a little bit better than some of them other fish i got on the last round he ain't fighting super hard but as i pull him in he kind of feels like he's got a little weight to him we'll see we'll see when we get him up here i guess he's saving his energy or something i don't know if he's going to thrash around when he gets up here or... hell he might be going to dollywood today or something i don't know it takes a lot of energy to walk around that place come on fish people waiting on you if you ain't gonna fight you might as well just swim on up here and let us see you hell he might be foul hooked too i didn't think about that yeah that's the case right there he's foul hooked he's lassoed that's why he wasn't he's got i i think he's got my main hook with the bait snagged around the, i see my stinger hook there but i don't think the stinger's in him it's kind of dangling there this fish don't even know he's so dumb he don't even know how to eat a bait I got to bring you in, fish. I'll never get... There goes that one getting hit now. I think that was just a tap there. I don't think he hooked up. I'm going to stay spot locked here for a little while. See what's going on. Boy, fish, what a mess. And when I get him undone, too, you watch and see if he don't... If he don't go crazy on us. Look at this. He's... He's somehow... There, Okay. Now I gotta watch, okay, okay, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Oh, oh, there goes my head, there goes my head up there. Fish, I gotta do something to you now. I, I gotta, hang on, fish, hang on. I got business to take care of here. When a head bait goes down, everything else stops, by gosh. That stinger hook got him, man. I got to pick up on this fish first. I got to see what's going on here. Get it under control. That's the same head bait. I had to hook it different because the mouth was all tore up. But I dropped it down just like a normal piece of cut bait, just to hook through the meat on the top. And by gosh, something's eat it. I'll have to switch it out after this fish. It's, it was questionable whether I should have sent it back down last time, but... I want to kind of be conservative. I try not to waste bait. You know, I try to, I try not to be wasteful. But you can only catch so many fish on a bait before you gotta just switch it out. Yeah, that's another blue. That one, that one's a little bit bigger than the one in the floor. This one was at least smart enough to, well, he threw that bait off anyway. I guess I don't have to worry about switching it out because he made the decision for me. Okay. Let's set him back in the holder. I got to figure out what's going on here. He got this hook and leader all around my my rod there. Let me get it out of the way before he breaks that rod. I'd really be in bad shape then. 
now he's got this stinger hook down here in his side, all that flopping around. Okay, that's that's taken care of. We got our bait back. They got a slime all over the line, nasty. Ain't no other fish gonna wanna eat that with all that on there. Some people say that having that slime all over you later helps you get more bites. I don't know that it makes a difference or not. There's always some slime on there ever after you've caught a fish anyway. But some people, boy, he's still, he's still going crazy. But some people say that's why, you ever had them days, it's happened to me a bunch, I got it on video, where you just get one rod that just keeps getting hit over and over. Well, people say it's because that one rod gets all slimed up and stuff, and the fish keep getting drawn to it. I don't know if that's true, but that's what people say. You know what this fish right here says? This fish right here says he gone. That's what he says. Now, let's get the little bigger one landed. Let's get this bigger one landed here. Now we got this one going down. Man, I'm on some fish right here. I've gotten back on some, y'all. Let me just, let me set this one back. We'll land you eventually, fish. Hold tight. Oh, he let that go. Just a tease. Like one of the, one of the girls at the local gentleman's club. Just a tease. Well, you know, smaller fun sizer right there. Got me excited though when that head rod goes down. That's always exciting because you just never know. You know, them, them head baits, those are just, for me anyway, that's my favorite bait. I mean, that's a big fish bait. I've got a lot of big fish on them. So, you know, it takes a, usually, I mean, you can have small fish that just get the hook just right or they get lassoed in the line and they take the rod down. But usually, if you get a fish that's eight that head bait, especially a larger skipjack head like I had on that rod, it's usually at least fun size quality when you reel it in. So anyway, I gotta get some more baits down there, get all this stuff reset. I'll probably reel this one in and check it there since it's got hit a couple times. It may be fouled up or something. But uh, I'm gonna stay spot locked right here, I guess, for a little while. I'm um, getting these fish, flathead, and had that other series of fish, got everything rebaited. Now I've got these, so, uh, I'm just gonna stay hanging out here and see what else. If these fish are here, there's probably some more down there, maybe some better quality ones too. I put a fresh head on this rod and down it goes, just like that. Let's reel in another one. That head, that fresh head hadn't been down there long. Oh, now I got this one. The back rod back there is going, oh, and that one's going down. That one's going, oh, that, that's acting like a better fish right there, ain't it? That's acting like a better fish. Uh, well, oh man, he's pulling some drag too. I got to pick up on that and let's, let's set this one back. Let's set this one back. Oh man, I can't get that dang rod in. Buddy, he's, buddy, he's got the rod buried over there. Come here, fish. Come here. Okay, there we go. This is a better one right here. This is a better one. This is on a smaller chunk in my stinger fly. Man, this is a good fish right here. This is going to be the biggest one in the morning. This is by far the biggest one in the morning. I don't know about this other one on the back. He may have come off. I hope he did, because I don't want him swimming laps around with this one. The one on the front up there don't feel too bad either on the, on the head bait. Man, oh no, he just flicked. Are you kidding me? He just let go. He just let go. That was a good fish. That's why, that's why he managed to get my front line up there and it slid down. This fish here on the, on the front left slid down, slid that line down and popped that hook free. That's what worked him free. Cause you can see my line, see it heading that way? That's from the fish that had the head bait. He just, he just helped his friend there pop that damn hook out of his mouth. Biggest fish I hooked all morning. That was a damn whopper. That was a golly whopper. And this fish here saved him. Dang, man. What can you do? It happens. That's one of the gambles when you, when you fishing like I do, 
and you got this many rods this close together, you're playing with fire. You're going to get some tangles and you're going to have stuff like that happen. That's part of the game, but it sucks when it happens. This is a good fish here. That's another fun sizer, but this one fails in comparison to the one I just lost. That other one was a really good fish. Okay, come on up in here. Fish, you really screwed me. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little upset with you, fish. That was dirty what you done. At least you left the head on. Goodness gracious, this has got a, boy, he's got a bad attitude. I'm gonna try to get hold of this old, look at him now. Now he's peeing all over me. <laughs> what can you do? Had the biggest fish I've hooked all morning. I mean, that, seriously, I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to get the rod out of the rod holder. It's stuck. I don't know with the camera angle if you can see. That, I mean, that fish had the rod buried. It was a good fish, and when I was fighting him, it was solid. And that fish swam over that line, and it worked its way down to the hook and popped it free. And I've had that happen before. And then I get this fish up in here and he acts a fool. He's flopping around, hitting my graph, and then pisses all over me. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd say it's intentional. <laughs> I got another one going down up here. That's another nice takedown. That's another nice takedown. Same rod. It's been a few minutes. This one here ain't gonna be as big as that one I lost. Dang old R. Kelly fish whizzing all over that situation and me, literally. This one here ain't no slouch. A nice takedown, feels pretty solid. Yeah, I just I've made my way down here. I've spot locked because I'm on these fish and Kind of wondering what would have been going on if I'd been down here from the start this morning, right at sunrise when I had that activity period going. But you know, you never know. You just gotta, you gotta pick a plan and go with it. And that's what I did. And eventually made my way down here and I'm catching them now. My next trip out though, my next catfishing trip, I may come back down here to this spot and start the morning and, and see what's going on. It's the blue. That's another, that's a, that's a good, that's a good fish. Nice fish right there. Nice. All right, you come up here, fish. You're gonna get landed now. I believe this is the biggest one I've landed this morning right here. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, he ain't done either. He says, he says he's gonna prove he's the biggest one. I've landed acting like that. You coming in now, whether you want to or not, fish. Don't be flopping anymore now. You got indoor behavior. There's the hook. Here's the stinger under him. Boy, now you got it in the tail, fish. You got it in the tail now. There you go. All right, we got him out. Yeah, that and there, you know, larger fun size, I'll call him. Um, dang good fish. He's still kind of marked up there on top of his fin and over here on his tail. He ain't gonna turn his tail around to show you he's embarrassed by it, but in spawn marks there where they're just, they finished up a while ago and on the feed now. He, this fish here will weigh a lot more once he gets his weight back on. He's still, body's kind of skinny for his head size there, but, uh, Dang good time, man. I've made my way down here to this spot. They feeding. Get out of here, fish. Oh. Boy, these fish, they all got a they all got a mean streak in them this morning, don't they? Every one of them. 
So it's that time of the day. I'm gonna get on up out of here. Really just didn't get anything else after that last big fish. Just some dink taps, no solid hookups. So bite just kind of died off on me, but it's pretty good while it lasted. Got several fish today, got some fun size blues, got that flathead, lost what felt like a really good fish. The big ones, you know, it's gonna get bigger as the day goes on and I tell the story a few more times. That's how it goes. But uh, anyway, y'all, Hope you enjoyed it. We'll do it again soon. See you then.